Now y'all leaving me out here with all y'all swarming around me. And y'all know my phone is dying. But I'm not even worried about that. I'm more concerned about them children that y'all got because theirs is the kingdom of heaven. But you dogs, you murderers, hold on, let me go back to Revelations because God said, go back to Revelations and see what color God is. That's what he said when y'all was back there doing that to me in that goddamn cell, trying to tell me to worship that white woman and I had no confidence in myself because y'all knew who I was and you knew what time it was when I didn't bow down and worship her and you knew goddamn well I wouldn't. How dare you fucking try me? Talking about get down and worship you, Satan. Get behind me. Nobody fit to worship you. And y'all got me out here starving. Psych, I ain't starving. Yeah, I ain't ate nothing all day. But shit, I don't need Satan to try to turn rocks into bread, all that bullshit witchcraft y'all be talking about. I'll fast and I'll put y'all ass on blast for every little piece of wickedness you done ever goddamn done. I will make sure the Lord find you and search out all his enemies until he don't find no more. And that's what's happening right now. And God said, go to Revelations and see what color God is. So guess what that means? We in Revelations. And that's why none of y'all didn't want to discuss it with me when we was in that jail. And I asked y'all about Revelations. And all y'all wicked asses was in there talking about y'all with different denominations and put me back in that cell, trying to do a satanic blood ritual on me and this baby. And now, since I see that Satan, the Antichrist is here and up in y'all, time to go do a little bit more digging. And now that I know that y'all done killed all them folks and lived deliciously with your luxury and then sat over there and glorified all them sexual abominations, talking about raping children with their tongues cut out. Oh, so that's what you did? You raped my ancestors and my brothers and sisters' children with their tongues out and gave them disease? And then you taught it to your children. And they still trying to, they still doing it today. And Cynthia glorified it with America. And she told me all the evils that y'all still do. And you, you showed me all the souls that you collected. And then you told me that you were Satan himself. And God showed it to me too. When he showed me who Satan was and that y'all got his spirit now. So now it's time to find out more of why y'all kept trying to take this Bible from me. And it didn't have too much to do with turning me into a Satanist. I know it got a lot to do with just keeping me blind to what is going on. Y'all trying to go to war with God. Something is about to happen. Y'all running around and y'all are lawless. Because Satan was the accuser. And he ran around. The devil was lurking in them police cars. All this time... And he was the only one doing it until y'all sold out. And then y'all glorified all those sexual abominations. And said you had herpes and AIDS and that you would give it to us. God said in Revelations. Let's find the exact scripture where God is talking about y'all. <laughs> Desolation of Babylon. And that's what I saw that this was. Egypt, Sodom, Babylon. Reward her even as she rewarded you. And double unto her double. For she have glorified herself and lived deliciously. She said in her heart that she would never see any sorrow. And that's what they say. That's what whites, that's what them racists told y'all. 
Oh, ain't nobody gonna never be able to do nothing to us. We could do whatever we want. And y'all believed it. You believed that since he was the one locking people up and accusing people before God in the courtroom, talking about right hand to God, the Bible said when your judges is thrown over the cliff, then my people will hear my words. And y'all lived deliciously. Ran around trying to starve people while y'all was eating and living up in the house. And driving around your little fancy cars and over there sporting your jewelry and your Balenciaga. And had the nerve to tell me that y'all was giving babies herpes and AIDS and having sex with them until they were mutilated and until they were ridden with diseases because y'all hated Christ because he was not white and because he made us to look like him. Standing afar for fear of her torment something is coming. Y'all glorified the filth of your sexual abominations. And that herpes and that age shit. I know y'all think Austin gave me AIDS because Austin probably had AIDS when he got out that jail. And I asked Austin to get tested before he came home. And when he handed me the papers, I said, Austin, I, I see all these other diseases they say you ain't got. But where is the resource for herpes and HIV? And he told me that the nurse at the jail told him that he did not have it, but that she did not give him that one. And God said something about one of these witches coming to me, telling me, showing me all these bitches my baby daddy was fucking while I was in there. And then the witch told me, oh, your baby daddy got AIDS. And God said, well, he got it after I fucked him. And then they was over that time they were gonna give it to me and my baby. And God said, Andrea and that baby don't got AIDS. And he said, we didn't have herpes. And then y'all was threatening to give it to me and talking about I had it. And God said, herpy, if that what you wanted to do to try to hurt me, that ain't nothing a little Valtrex can't fix. But what about these sexual abominations that y'all said that y'all did with these children? Talking about raping them and mutilating their body. Talking about raping them until herpes was all over their body with their tongue cut out. And I heard the children screaming. My son was still alive December 2019. I called Cynthia Vera. Was it my birthday or was it Christmas? And if y'all killed my baby on my birthday and y'all think y'all finna kill me out here, now I see why Cynthia Vera said that y'all was finna get shot up by the Illuminati and that they was gonna shoot my daddy.